Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I share my thoughts on all things tech. Today, I want to talk about something that has been on my mind for a while, Windows 12. Yes, you heard me right, Windows 12. The successor to Windows 11, which was released last year and brought a fresh new look and feel to the operating system. Windows 12 is not official yet, but there have been rumors and leaks that suggest Microsoft is working on it and planning to release it in 2024. That's three years from now, which is a long time in the tech world. So, what can we expect from Windows 12? What will it look like? What features will it have? And most importantly, will it be worth upgrading? Let's start with the appearance. Microsoft has been experimenting with a new desktop interface that could be part of Windows 12. The prototype was briefly shown at the Microsoft Ignite keynote in October 2022, and it looks very different from Windows 11. The taskbar is floating instead of edge to edge. The search box is in the middle of the screen. The system icons are on the top right corner, and the weather is on the top left corner. It looks like Microsoft is trying to make Windows more minimalist and modern, but also more customizable and adaptable. The features are harder to predict, but there are some clues from Microsoft's recent patents and announcements. One of them is AI integration throughout the operating system. Microsoft has been investing heavily in artificial intelligence and machine learning, and it seems like they want to use it to make Windows smarter and more helpful. For example, Windows 12 could use AI to optimize performance, battery life, security, and privacy. It could also use AI to personalize your experience, such as suggesting apps, settings, files, and actions based on your context and preferences. Another feature that could be part of Windows 12 is modularity. This means that Windows 12 could be composed of different components that can be updated separately and independently. This would make Windows more flexible and adaptable to different devices and scenarios. For example, Windows 12 could run on laptops, tablets, phones, consoles, smartwatches, and even glasses. It could also run on different architectures, such as ARM or x86. And it could run different modes or shells depending on your needs, such as desktop mode, tablet mode, gaming mode, or mixed reality mode. Of course, these are just speculations based on rumors and leaks. Microsoft has not confirmed anything about Windows 12 yet, and things could change a lot in three years. But I think it's exciting to imagine what Windows 12 could be like and how it could improve our computing experience. I'm personally looking forward to seeing what Microsoft has in store for us. What do you think about Windows 12? Do you like the new desktop design? What features do you want to see in Windows 12? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tech news and reviews. Thanks for watching.